I decided to make another video about Schaefer um, to point out that every day you should be prepared to change the environment. Today, uh, today's the fourth day. I had thought yesterday was the fourth day. I've added a block of wood, which is just a sanded piece of birch. Um, he still has the ring to sleep in and um, the brown fake mouse. Um, what what he's actually fiddling with right now, which may be a good thing, is um, dog food that I had soaked in water, which is very soft. And see, he's hungry, and he has to figure this out on his own. I had to go from the lid, um, the jam lid, to a piece of foil, and that has uh, peaches and rice pureed in it. And um, I had to switch to that because he fell into the lid and was soaked. Um, and as you can see, he doesn't, he fell in, in this, and then he kind of licked it off his feet. He's trying very hard um, to eat and to grow up quickly. Um, so there are two pieces of soaked dog food, <clears throat> and then the other changes, as I said. Now, these knitted rings, which are spool knit rings, um, boy, did that help him today. What he did when he woke up was sit up and move. He stayed in the center, but moved all the way around the circle to kind of check out his environment. I don't know if he's a little late in opening his eyes or not. They're almost open. And I think once they open, um, things are going to change. So mice do this. They'll sit in their food. They don't care because they will then clean themselves off. Um, it's not that you want to encourage it, but don't be surprised. Now, the other thing that I'm going to be doing today... I um, have to grab it. One problem I'm having with getting a lot of food into him is that he will not open his mouth. And I really don't want to force it because he's got new teeth probably. Um, he's just so tiny. Come on, get out of the food. You don't want to be in the food. You have to find other food. Um, this is a muslin bag that I actually usually keep a bar of soap in. I'm going to put him in this bag. When he's in my hand, he likes to do somersaults and sleep upside down and not eat. I mean, he's, um, I'll tell you one thing. At this age, they do miss their mother. His favorite thing, um, his favorite thing is to have, um, someone like touch the top of his head. I think he would be under his mother's chin or something. And so when he does that in my hand, um, he's not in the right position to eat. I'm going to take a muslin bag and I'm going to put him in it. And I'm going to have his head sticking out and I'm going to wrap this around him so I can hold him with just his head sticking out. And I think that'll improve how easy it is to get food into him. So, um, I'm still rehabilitating him. You wouldn't believe it. Um, I put... I'm sorry, I had to switch uh, cameras. Um, I put the chipmunk trap away because I just don't feel comfortable with it and I don't want to hurt them. But I was on the floor um, feeding Schaefer last night, early this morning, like three in the morning, and um, I've got my legs out behind me and I'm like kneeling on the floor. Jumper's mother, the brown large mouse, ran right behind me. I've got all the lights on. Um, you know, I got the kitchen all going because I was making food for him. And I can't believe how bold they've gotten. Now, um, they're older, like a year and a half, maybe almost two. Mice don't live all that long. Um, 
but that was completely unacceptable to me as a person sitting in my kitchen and a mouse running behind me. So um, I'm, I'm probably going to keep Schaefer separate from them because um, I really don't want to train him to be like that in a house. It sounds silly, but if I'm going to rehabilitate him, I would rather have him um, grow up to be an outdoor mouse. So I decided to make another video just to um, show that you're going to have to adapt probably every day with the needs of a baby mouse.